Yeah, John and Christelle, when they say widespread, they mean public sexual acts against women, not only in Platte County, but Clay County, as well as Jackson County, and even across the state line in Johnson County. It's very scary for me, especially my size. Um, I'm always out shopping by myself. Um, I mean, I feel like you just really have to be aware of your surroundings. The manhunt for this man is over. He's behind bars. But the hunt for potential victims is just starting. James Jones II charged with aggravated first degree sexual abuse after completing a sex act here at this Barnes and Noble in Zona Rosa. The thing is, the evidence prosecutors have points to at least a dozen other times he's done this in front of women in public. In terms of, of, of the, the number of potential victims, um, this has uh, probably the largest number of, of victims potentially of any case that I've been involved in. And crimes they allege he's committed all across the metro, including Clay County, Blue Springs, and Lee Summit. But that may just touch the surface of all of the crimes the state believes he has committed. The extent of this uh, man's acts and what we believe in terms of the, the number of repeated acts is is certainly something new. With more shoppers out now, especially with the holiday season upon us, it's certainly unwelcome news. I am very scared. I carry pepper spray and a taser. And being out by myself constantly, it's very alarming for me. Now Jones again is behind bars, but prosecutors and police want to reach out and find as many victims as they can. And not only do they believe that there are more victims, according to Eric Zahn, the prosecuting attorney in Platt County, they have evidence, video evidence to prove as much. So I want you to take a look at your screen right now. If you recognize this man, they want you to reach out to KCPD's Sex Crimes Unit. The information to do that is attached to this story on Fox4KC.com. John?